all right then ladies and gentlemen hello and welcome to crypto space so in today's video we are going to cover pepe its recent price action of course we are going to cover pepe's holders a couple of interesting charts for btc and altcoins as well guys if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and a quick disclaimer that this video is not financial advice and now let's hop into pepe itself so guys pepe is experiencing a little you know pullback of 0.8 percent towards the downside and now the market cap is sitting at 4.999 billion usd let's say and now guys let's actually go into the chart right away okay so first of all that is a two hourly chart and now after such a pump that we saw for you know pepe right that is pretty much you know kind of normal and healthy that we had you know a significant pullback which also gave us an opportunity to scoop up some more a pepe you know if you guys are obviously interested if you were kind of late you know to the party as of 27th of may so we saw around 36 percent of dip and i do believe that this was kind of you know a good buying opportunity especially if you guys had some limit orders set up over here right and that also perfectly coincided with that support level over here for a pepe and now on the two hour time frame we are bouncing back so on the two hourly time frame stochastic rsi looks like is going to you know experience that bearish cross which technically means that we potentially could see another retest you know a couple of percent down for a pepe and let's say that will be actually nine percent which would which which could be a pullback for a pepe a couple of percent potentially even 10 percent dip which i don't believe it's going to happen nevertheless that will be retest of that level as a support now let's actually move to the four hourly time frame to see what's going on so as you guys can see on the four hourly time frame we do have some fuel going upwards for a pepe so i do believe that you know pepe is going to potentially reach this level on the four hourly time frame and that would be another you know little pump of what 11 percent um definitely not out of the question in my personal humble opinion and now guys let's actually move to the daily time frame for pepe so as of the daily time frame for pepe we are in that range of oversold area and now looking at that the bearish cross looks like that you know orange line is going to go down at the moment right nevertheless in general that area is oversold you know territory for pepe and again in my personal opinion this is you know a good buying opportunity for pepe right it's definitely better to buy right now when pepe is currently at what 29 percent of discount rather than here you know but funny enough is that people are not interested into any project in fact pepe or whatever that is you know until it's actually going to see a pump towards the upside and then obviously FOMO kicks in and then people are just ending up being an exit liquidity of course it's not you know financial advice i'm not saying that you should sell your house and you know degen into pepe and then you know lose everything because of course we could technically you know retest that level of support right if bitcoin is going to see the further pullback nevertheless again i do believe that it's definitely better to buy here rather than here but anyways now let's have a look at the standpoint of the weekly chart for pepe the frog okay, so on the weekly time frame guys this was the peak for a pepe and there was only two times when pepe you know reached these areas of like highly oversold territory for stochastic rsi and now on a weekly time frame it looks like we are going to experience downside potentially even you know some further sell-off right so again you know please understand that daily is showing totally different picture just like for hourly but weekly time frame is showing that downward momentum towards the upside potentially so now guys let's actually have a look at holders to understand of what is going on with pepe's accumulation okay so last 24 hours at the time of recording this video of course that was 13th of june and we're sitting at 243,873 holders and as of today we are sitting at 244 260 so actually when i was preparing for the video that was 369 holders and now and now it's going to be a little bit more so let's say around 400 you know new holders in the last 48 hours for pepe so accumulation is growing and also pepe doesn't have you know coinbase listing so i do believe pepe is a good investment as of the time of recording this video of course before we saw the listing for coinbase because you know all of the jeffries you know probably at the end of this year or next year are going to be you know degening into pepe like crazy you know because obviously they are lazy to use vpn so on and so forth so i'm not saying to sell your house but i'm just saying that this is you know good investment you know opportunity now and now guys market cap is sitting at let's say 5 billion usd 
right so again if we are going to compare it to dodge that saw around 80 or 90 billion usd for previous cycle i do believe that pepe you know doing let's say 80 billion usd in terms of you know market cap at the peak of this cycle is you know not a big deal but of course we are going to see you know what's going to happen in the future anyways if it comes to etfs guys as of yesterday 14th of june we are sitting at negative outflows 189.9 million usd for btc so of course that doesn't really help pepe the frog nevertheless on the flip side you know that situation in the market currently is allowing us to actually you now find better entries into the projects that we are you know believing in and now guys shout out to trader Tarigrade, and this is a daily chart for btc bitcoin bollinger band with bbw indicates that another rally is coming soon when the bollinger band is getting tight it will expand depending on the price volatility btc follows this pattern and is going to reach one hundred thousand dollars soon so let's have a look what trader tarring rate is actually talking about right so every single time you know we had that you know downward momentum for bbw indicator you know we saw an upward movement for btc's price now let's move to the very recent green circle in which we had similar action in bbw indicator and after that we saw rally towards the upside so now similar thing is actually going on right and of course we could trade a little bit lower for a while you know maybe some you know maybe some potential dip of revisiting that area below you know 65k whatever i don't really care because you know the overall picture for you know foreseeable future is definitely bullish for btc and now shout out to titan of crypto and that is a two weekly chart he's saying that bitcoin market structure remains bullish on a two weekly time frame many are anticipating a trend reversal without any confirmation or bearish signal on btc yet the probabilities are still in favor of the buyers for now so guys let's have a look of what is going on so first of all i actually see cap and handle over here which is obviously bullish but anyways we got this resistance right we've got rejection breakout and now we do have a retest i don't really see that as a really bearish sign to being honest with you again you know things like that are actually taking some time and now shout out to the scalping Pro. Bitcoin post halving dips are for buying and yes this is exactly what I'm thinking so let's actually have a look in 2016 we had that halvening then we had a dip after the halvening obviously and after that we saw a huge parabola and then we had some dips which created opportunity to you know get better entry now another halvening in 2020 right we had a dip and after that you know we had another pump and then the next dip which again created a beautiful opportunity to have a better entry and then parabola now we had obviously our bottom right we got halvening in which we have a dip obviously a little bit post halvening and now we got this sideways boring price action with local dips which are printing beautiful opportunities for better entries nevertheless i believe that you know we are going to see that parabola sooner rather than later and the scalping pro has potential targets of 220,000 usd for btc this cycle and now shout out to el crypto prof altcoins in times like these you should never forget the macro view altcoins copy 2016 2017 it just takes longer so the corrections take longer too life-changing money is on the table guys i believe that this chart is quite important because i do know how you feel you're probably feeling you know a little bit discouraged you know in crypto in general because you know market is dipping at the moment as we can clearly see nevertheless that macro picture is basically a perfect representation of what is yet to come so let's have a look at previous cycles we had the proper bear cycle accumulations on obviously then we had the proper exit right also exit above these all-time highs of 2013 after that we saw a pullback which was at the same time a retest of that zone as a support nevertheless after that we had a huge parabola for old coins right so then we had the bear market obviously then we had the first pump outside of that bear market and then the healthy retest as a support nevertheless that momentum building over here is clear indicator of what is yet to come and and as you guys can see that you know bigger sideways price action and bigger the pullback bigger the future pump so i do believe that patience is going to be rewarded and now guys let's have a look at this beautiful chart created by the scalping pro let's focus on rsi right this is a monthly chart by the way and in the previous peaks of the cycles right we had 97 in terms of rsi then we had you know let's say area of 79 that was after the first pump outside of that bear cycle then we had the peak of 96 in terms of rsi then obviously we had our bear cycle 
etc then the peak of 92 and now we are sitting at the level of 77 right 79 77 roughly the same obviously these are diminishing returns right so after the healthy pullback we are going to reach roughly 90 in terms of rsi so we do have some fuel to go as well as time in this cycle and now if we are going to look at standpoint of rectangles according to the scalping pro we can clearly see of what is going on so we've got the bottom formation that was our accumulation zone i believe that was the best time to buy you know any crypto at that time and now we are still in the beginning of that green rectangle of that bull rally so you know things are going to change towards you know our favor in foreseeable future i believe and now guys very important chart for altcoins so you better pay attention and shout out to mr crypto he's saying that altcoins aren't moving at all yet but I can guarantee, well, he can guarantee you that when this BTC dominance rising wedge breaks down, altcoins will explode. Altcoin season will start. Be prepared. Guys, exactly, you know, every single time that's happening for Bitcoin's dominance, you know, this is exactly the same case, you know. But obviously, in order to have a slightly better representation of that Bitcoin dominance, let's actually have a look at my trading view. And let me zoom it to, let's say, weekly chart, right? So now we are in this area, okay? Let me zoom it in again one more time, all right? So we are in this area area right and of course bitcoin is going up and down right so dominance also is going up and down as well obviously these are not exactly two same things price and dominance nevertheless guys this is where we are at if it comes to bitcoin dominance right and of course for a while we can be still here nevertheless if i'm going to zoom this chart out i do hope that this is quite you know self-explanatory of what is going on right every single time this bitcoin's dominant is dropping we are experiencing a strong old season just like in 2017 2021 and 2024 sooner rather than later. Ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching and I wish you having a great weekend. Peace and love crypto.